First of all, I pick up the phone. Guy starts sending me pictures of my mom. She's like, well, if I skip dinner and unplug my fridge so all my food goes bad, <laughs> maybe. Might be able to fit in some fudge. The Pope has died. They picked a new one, and it's your boy. Sorry, excuse me. Oh, it's just Adele. <laughs> no, I don't need that. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to Overshadowed, the only podcast about the siblings and spouses of people who change the world. I'm Zach. Get in here. I'm Charles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Boom. <laughs> that was a pretty smooth intro to this week's pod. Um, brought folks, to you by Prime. Brought to you by Logan Paul's uh, serum. It's hit Logan Paul, right? I, I get think him I'm ready to wrestle with the box. I get, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to, I'm ready to get in the ring. I get him confused with the guy in Fast and Furious who died, Paul Walker, mm. Logan Paul Walker. Logan Paul Walker. Yeah. But then my uh, son. His time will come. Um, but as you can tell, maybe by the name of the episode, this is going to be another just Zach and Chuck hanging out. And folks, that's what it's going to be. Yeah. I it's mean, good. Come on. they're good ads. It's fun. We, you Didn't know, you we like catch the clam up. chowder one, guys? <laughs> Didn't you like clam boozled? Which during the edit, I kicked myself for never putting together in the episode. So then I made it the title as a kind of forgotten riff that never was said, you know. But um, yeah, you've been in Virginia. I've been in Maryland, D.C. We were went close. to some shows. You know what's weird about our lives now? We've switched. I used to be like we live. If you listen to the first episodes, I'm living Charles' life and Charles <laughs> is living mine. You're an office stiff going on business, you know, retreats. I'm getting tan, playing with kids, power washing decks. <laughs> Getting high and longboarding in Arizona. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I can't believe the total 180 yeah, we both very, pulled. So I think we manifested it. We it's both crazy. wanted to be each other when we first met. And now we are. <laughs> no, I wonder how it. he lives life. Yeah. Well, now we know. And uh, boy, is it shitty. I either, mean, either way, it's still kind of shitty. Yeah. <laughs> well, the difference is, and I don't mean to just throw this in your face <laughs> out the gate, but I have. Um, more money than you because I yeah. did the sales job first. So I have the 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 nest egg. Mm. I got the nest egg of the sales. You're just getting into that. So now I, yeah, I'm in I the point of my life where I'm scraping stick. by. Yeah, right. yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have an unknown. Yeah, forget about the egg. Yeah, you I hardly have a nest. <laughs> yeah, I barely got a, I got a couple of twigs. Yeah. In six months, I may have $3,000. Hey, and, that's uh, pretty exciting. Yeah, I have $2,000 in my savings account. It's the most I've ever had besides COVID check. But yeah, it feels... I don't like it. I don't like <laughs> working corporate. I like to not. You worked the sales job for however many years, but I worked six shitty jobs f- since I was like fourteen. Uh, so any job, I think I got the job tolerance of like I don't like a corporate job, but it's way better than any job that I've ever had. Yeah, you spend though. I don't. What do I spend? You buy. Come on. What do I buy? You have fancy backpacks that you've convinced me to buy five years ago. Sure. You have two, multiple. One was you a gift from my mom. All right. <laughs> you go on dates with your lady. Yeah, but I don't go on a lot of dates, and we right. cut it cheap. Like, when we went to Montauk, we just took the train, got lunch, and took the train back. Maybe you don't spend a lot of money. No, I don't. I just don't have money. I feel like you money. spend more than me, but you don't... You may, s- no. I spend very little, and you don't... Sp- and you spend little. I don't spend a lot of money. I just don't have a lot of money, and I have regular bills. I see. But you spend. Every time I call you, you're like, oh, I got another 300 for my car. I parked a diagonal on an upside street. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Every time I think about wanting a car in New York, Zach calls me with a ticket. And I'm like, whew. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm taking the train, baby. Yeah, but the nudes and you're the tickets cancel money. each other out. Uh, okay. You got to sell nudes to, if you got a car. Are you still selling feet nudes? You know, this guy messaged me. He came out of the woodwork recently. He and he was, he came was like, out of the can footwork. you send me? Yep. Can you, he came out of Foot Locker. <laughs> And they said, you can't keep coming in here, man. You don't That's work called here. a foot blocker. He was, those guys, <laughs> he those was guys foot blocking him. Um, yeah, he came out of the woodwork. He's like, I'd like four more, please. I said, I'll get my elves right on it. Santa's workshop is Do you ever send a gift of like the wiggle? And then it well, no, I was a like, boomerang, I mean. A boomerang, yeah. Well, you can make it out of gif. Yeah. You can save it. Okay, okay. I, a live photo that you could hold. Oh, that's not. And then you, you could have it and hold. Do they, th- do they request poses like the uh, Dorothy? I just, I just clap. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> asshole out, huh? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's cool. That's a bonus. That's Show cost more. That's I'm gonna raise, right? I'm gonna cut that out. Showing hole. Show hole. Maybe. No, I got a hole in my tooth. If I open my mouth, I'm showing hole. Oh no, you I, do. You see, yeah, dude. I got these. Uh, yeah, we'll get back to the foot thing, but I got these chocolate covered uh, nuts over there, and I feel like with 
any nut coated in something, it kind of tricks your body into biting down harder because there's a soft exterior. Oh. And so I just felt, I'm like, oh, I got like a piece of popcorn stuck in my teeth. And then I realized, no, that's just a hole oh. in my tooth now. And it doesn't hurt, but there is a section missing. For, you th- so what that's kind of nuts are covered in chocolate, though? I mean, nuts are generally medium to soft. Are these pistachios no, in the almonds. shell covered they're in, al- <laughs> yeah, covered in chocolate? Yeah, peanuts in the shell. <laughs> no, they're almonds. I don't know. That's my theory, though. By, this, the by the way, this may be a bomb she's dropping in there. Yeah, Ricky. Yeah, we got Ricky in the in the producer's chair right now. <laughs> Charles and cat dropping a, a fat log. She Did drops, you drop a little log? She's atomic. I've cat never shit m- sm- Cat, dude. Cat, um, what would you call it? Cat output <laughs> it smells very bad i mean this i had cats my whole life she's the most atomic cat i've ever lived with it makes me angry the cats i grew up with it's like you get too close and you're like ew but it's like you adopted like, a dad yeah it's, it's blowing grand- out the litter every like and it lives in your living room she's a kitten with my grandfather's asshole it's really <laughs> that's the only thing that was reincarnated you got an old hole yeah she's got anyone an ever tell hole. you have an old hole <laughs> it's gray it makes me so angry, her poops. Yeah. It changes my mood. Yeah, I mean, it changes the atmosphere. Yeah, it poops the living room. But uh, so what no, he told me, you know, I'd like four more. And I'm like, what, you know, what kind? And he's like, I'll go. I'll find some on Twitter that I like and send him to you. Like style? Yeah. What was the style? Just like leg down. I don't know. Just like, what? Like, you know, like this. And then you just take a picture. Oh, is that the equivalent of taking uh, your butt over the shoulder? <laughs> <laughs> right, maybe. Yeah, you get a little bonus. <laughs> there's a little um And how much is it? $50 and there's a pick? There's background, foreground. No, it's like a hundred bucks for four picks. I think. I don't know. No, that's less than fifty dollars a pick. Yes, it is, but it's also my feet. I don't care. Yeah. Who cares? Uh Heather cares. Well, Heather's or else a, I'd be doing Heather's them. Heather's a different being. Yep. <laughs> That's all I'll say. <laughs> but tell me about Virginia. Tell me about, I mean, I can't believe you got swindled into this job that our friend Nick referred you to. He's like, hey, man, it's not a job. You don't have to do anything. There's well, no the, effort, no work. This is what and happened. And you're like, I got a business meeting. They're putting me in a submarine. I got to go <laughs> explore the Pacific for the client. And uh, it's going to be you next. Nick, I found out what happened to Nick. Do you know what, why he's in his position? Is uh no Nick was in he a was position. sexually assaulted by the CEO yeah and they're and like we'll just let you have a we'll just entry let you make calls for yeah. the rest of your life how about that and he's like oh, I was gonna ask for thirty eight mil but <laughs> that's better <laughs> I'll do fifty k a year um Nick was in a job like mine where you start making calls and then they start giving you relationships to be the boss of uh-huh. and then all of his department quit so they gave him a big raise then they hired his department. And I, like I'm in a team of five people, okay. so like four people of his quit. They go, Nick, you got to be everybody, and he goes, you got to pay me more. So mm-hmm. they give him big raise. Then they immediately hired the four other people, mm-hmm. and then they just said, you're just gonna make calls. And he goes, but I'm keeping the money. And they go, sure. So he's been operating off of that for a long time. He did what I did, which is I had over the six years I had about eight bosses. And so as long as you just hold on and don't quit. Throughout all that change, it's very hard for management to like effectively manage you. Yeah, it seems like it. For me, it's like, yeah, now I make calls. Now I'm taking over relationships. I had to go to... So I went to Virginia to meet with the big dogs. Yep. Go out to happy hours and dinners. And, uh, you know, I get drunk pretty quick. And apparently... Uh, yeah, I, you came back. You're like, I haven't slept in days. I'm like, weren't you on I a I couldn't sleep. business conference? Yeah, I couldn't sleep. I'm Deals going in keeping these, you up at night? Yeah, all these mergers were in my head. It's hard to sleep when you got numbers yeah. running through your brain. <laughs> no more tags. It's all about deals. Yeah. So I get there. First of all, they book me. They go, hey, you're going to go to Virginia? And I'm messaging with the travel lady. And she goes, how would you like to stay at our... Uh, at how much our, time you doing? Yeah. <laughs> she goes, how would you like to stay at our, our corporate Airbnb? And I was like, oh, sweet. I'll definitely stay at the corporate Airbnb. This is a huge company. It's probably going to be a sweet house. Mm -hmm. So (coughs) (coughs) I take the train to Virginia, uh, my new album. The Uber takes me to this corporate Airbnb. I pull up. It's like a townhouse with like a car in the driveway. And I'm like, I think this is like a regular guy's house. I think they messed up. I check the address. I'm like, this is it. So... Jesus Christ. Logan Paul, the beast in me is coming out. eating those gummy burgers. Prime. Uh, yeah, I got to lay off the red meat. So I go, I pull up, this like a normal house and I'm like a little nervous because I don't know the gun laws in Virginia. If I'm going to knock, <laughs> if this is a Florida, defend your ground state. Your ground, yeah. I'm going to knock on the door, but I'll get a shotgun blast to my stomach. Maybe. And um, he's yeah, like, I killed Girl Scout. 
girls and <laughs> intruders. If you get the code wrong three times. Yeah. Well, well there was no code. There was a, a drone door. is dispatched. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That uh, that plane that just shoots everybody. You've seen those TikToks? I forgot what it's called. Is, like drone? is your phone ringing? Yeah, that was my brother. Just fucking kill him. So I'm like a little hesitant. I got a purple flower suitcase because it's my mom's and it was free. And I'm like, oh, this is not good. I don't know what kind of state this is. Yeah. I knock so you roll up looking like half a fruit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> half concerned yeah. about guns. A half eaten apple. Yep. And uh, of course showing, very vulnerable. <laughs> and I showing knock on old. the door and this guy opens the door. He's got to be like 50, pajama pants, shirt off. And I'm like. Obviously the owner. Yeah. And I'm like, is this a corporate? He's like, yeah. And I was <laughs> like, okay. And he goes, uh, you're in the basement. You're in room number two. And I'm like, there's two rooms in the basement. Two rooms. So now it's oh, a shared Airbnb. God. You don't even get the whole basement. No, don't even get the whole basement. Woo. And I go, I uh, goes, I got some snacks. My dad's visiting. If you see him, say hi. And I'm like, what? Oh, man, this is just your house. What does corporate Airbnb even mean? Nothing. It means sh- it just means the the Airbnb that the company got. Yeah. No, it's I not like a designated. No. Oh, this and is I was ridiculous. like, all right. What? A-, and he goes, I got some snacks. I opened the mini fridge in the basement. The snacks is a jar of pickles. Okay. No water in the fridge. All right. So you're at a shitty Airbnb. So I go into room number two. It's lit up like a doctor's office, like bright light, oh, urgent no, care. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm not staying in this. You can suck my ass, <laughs> eat my toes, lick my gooch. There's paper on the, uh, on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> that they yeah. change out. They just roll out. What is that paper? It's like rice paper yeah. almost. Yeah. I think it's called Nori. <laughs> the seaweed. <laughs> um, so I'm like, screw you this. You can eat the sheets if yeah. you want. <laughs> That's what I meant by snacks, <coughs> is you can eat the sheets. I think I got bit by You're a tick. You're coughing so much. Also, if I get bit by a tick in Virginia and get Lyme disease, I'm suing the company. Um, I'm just saying that right now. When I was in Pennsylvania with Austin and Nick, Austin went on this big tear about how Lyme's disease is a myth. <laughs> He's a truther. He's with the ticks, dude. He was like, Lyme disease is a real thing, but in terms of chronic Lyme, lemon Lyme, I believe they call it, it's not real. It's oh. like li- li- Lyme disease is a catch-all that doctors use when they've ruled out everything else. Oh, uh, like Crohn's. Apparently. They I don't know. They, that's what, I, of, that's of, what he was arguing. Maybe. Maybe that's true, but I don't necessarily know because Lyme disease seems to just be a precursor to get more th- more pain easily. You seem to be more yeah, susceptible. it's like a weakness that yeah. you acquire. I don't think it's like an a immune catch-all. Thing. So I'm in this room, and then I go to the other bedroom. It's lit up like a normal bedroom, like regular light. And I was like, okay, I'm staying in here. So you go to bedroom one. So I go to bedroom one. Change I'm like, bedrooms. I'm Uh-oh. like, fuck off. If the guy yells at me, I'll just say it. I didn't realize. I can't read. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Also, who cares? It's just a bedroom. And then I go to work the next day. I'm in meetings. I couldn't go to sleep till like 3 in the morning every day. I'm exhausted. The whole Every meeting, <laughs> I'm just so like... Excited. Like keep your eyes. Don't fall asleep. I think I hear asleep. the CFO on the roof. Yeah, I hear the reindeer. <laughs> They're coming to shower me with winds <laughs> and opportunities. Also, I went to. Uh, I got there early, the building early. But everybody said get there at eight thirty. But everybody really gets there at nine. So I'm there and I'm just early walking through a sea of cubicles. Ah, empty. My cubes. nightmare. Yeah, it was all. And then people are arriving, but they're not saying hi. Nobody's mm. friendly, and I'm just well, like it's the morning. Yeah, but and they don't know you. It's just is this like, the headquarters? What is where? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This okay. is the headquarters. Okay, okay. And uh, I finally I get settled. Somebody finds me. I'm like lost at sea, and my coworker has to come running around. He's like over here, uh-huh. and I'm like throw a buoy. <laughs> and uh, I'm playing putt putt, and uh, they have putt putt in the. I never worked in. Is it real putt putt or is it like a mug the, sideways? The, like the no, it's oh, the it's, mat. Yeah, yeah. I had like, one of those too. They buy. They get one for forty bucks, and they're like, "We have that's called office culture." Yeah, o- office culture is a uh, fucking dick sporting goods thing that you buy as you're in line for the checkout. So you, no, you worked on your short game for thirty yeah, minutes yeah, before the office started. I was slicing. I was wedging. Yep. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what the the golf Took terms out are. A driver. I got a couple of strikes. <laughs> Slammed it through the window. <laughs> yeah. I yelled four. I don't know. Yeah. What's the problem? Am I fired? So they, they find me. I have to sit in the corner because it's like the only cubicle open. I'm like away from everybody else, ostracized. And I'm just working throughout the day before the meetings, getting some stuff done. And then I get a call on my corporate line. And I pick <laughs> up and I go, hello. And this guy goes, you're in the wrong room. Care to explain yourself? Whoa. And I'm like. He's talking about the basement? Yes, but I didn't know that. <laughs> okay. Because this guy's calling me from a corporate line. And I'm like, what does that mean? A corporate line? Like he's calling my corporate phone. Like They're my, really throwing around the word corporate at this he's, place. <laughs> he's calling my it's my work Airbnb. phone. Yeah, I know. 
This is your corporate lunch. It's going to be your corporate ass on my corporate in my mouth. Uh, yeah. Thanks for lunch. And uh, I didn't know who it was because I'm like, only if you have this number, you must work here. Yes. So I'm like, I pick up. Oh, it's an internal number. It's an internal. An internal, okay. And uh, Doing an endoscopy. Yeah, exactly. He's going deep. Yeah. And I pick up and go, hello, it's Charles. You're in the wrong room. Care to explain yourself? <laughs> That's crazy. And I thought it was a guy who saw me on the other side when I was earlier, looking like, looking like a stranded little baby duck. And I go, no, I'm in the right room. I found my place. And he goes, you're in the wrong room. You want to explain that? He doesn't say a name. No. Okay. And I go, uh, I look at my coworkers. I'm like, I see my coworkers right here. I'm in the right department, sir. And he goes, no, the Airbnb. You're in room two. You're supposed to be in room one or whatever it was. Okay. And instead of playing stupid, which is always the best strategy in life, well, is just to be comes like. naturally to you. Just, yeah, of course. It's a gift. He just got me so mad immediately that I was just like, is this the Airbnb guy? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, man, that first room was lit really bad. I just sounded like <laughs> such a loser. I go, lighting there is terrible. The vibe's all off. Yeah. In room two. Do you take into account vibes? Corporate vibes? He goes, you were assigned room two. Jeez. When you're assigned something, you do it. And I go, obviously, this isn't about me. Something happened to this guy in a room that he shouldn't Does have seen. Guy, when he was is he affiliated with the company? I, I found out younger. I found out later. So yep. Edit that out, Ricky. <laughs> I found out later that he's like the facilities manager of the building. Of the office building? Yes. Okay. So I don't know. If oh, these people are kind of strange. Yeah. The facilities managers are a little off. Yeah. And I'm like. They're like the groundskeeper. of Groundskeeper you know, Willie. Right. That's like one step above Crypt Keeper. Mm -hmm. Instead of a graveyard, they manage an office park, which is a, like basically one step yeah. above a graveyard. Everybody is one beat above dead there. Yeah. Um, and I'm like. Hey, man, what's the big deal? You're surrounded by gray vertical slabs yeah. on either side of you. It's basically a cemetery. So I'm getting mad at him, and I'm like, what's the problem, dude? Like, I'm in another room. Who cares? Yeah. And he's like, you're assigned something. You do it in life. And I was like, yeah, man, I didn't do it. What's the problem? I'm in another room. He goes, I have other guests coming in. I'm like, isn't this the corporate Airbnb? What other guests are coming in? Is this a regular Airbnb? This and he's like, I'm expecting guests. And I'm like, hooey. I didn't do anything to your room, dude. He maybe has something sneaky in there he doesn't want you to see. Well, I don't know what Did yet. the cabinets start buzzing at any point? <laughs> <laughs> it just starts jumping away from you? I think he probably was... They got real important stuff in there, yeah. documents and shit. You know, they got they got big T on some lesser shit than what I got yeah. in there. It's a corporate files. Yeah, weird. So he's really pissed. He never gives you his name. Well, he called Does he have his, an accent? He called his, this guy can't be... No, he didn't Ohio. have an accent. He seemed like American. He had a Marine's license plate. Oh, okay. And uh, yeah, so there's a little PT, P yeah. PT corporate Airbnb. Uh. And uh, and eventually he goes, you know what? Just in the future, just don't do that. And I go, all right, bye. And I just hang up on him because I'm in like. In the future? Yeah, I'm like, I'm not going to listen to you. I also don't care. Like everything about. You think I'm like, going to be at this company? You think I'm going to be at this Airbnb again? Ever again? If I am, I'll follow the rules because I'm going to kill myself in the room that you assigned me. I'm going to make sure to have my brain splatter on the room that I was assigned. Yeah, leave a note. Killed myself where I was supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm pissed. We go to this corporate meeting. I go to a corporate happy hour. I get drunk. And then apparently I told I was telling the story. I don't remember this, but my boss came out to me and he don't goes. don't remember. Well, I was like buzzed, but I wasn't like, you know, I get drunk really quick. Yeah, but you don't remember and like, oh, yeah, I get, like if someone told you or you have no recollection. Of I it. don't remember telling this story, but I was just. Okay. I was. Okay. My mission was you to stay calm. Little. Yeah, I stayed calm throughout the whole thing. But if, if I told a story, stay I was. Stay calm. Stay calm. I don't want to be super like you're drunk. you're on a polygraph yeah. test. <laughs> Make eye Keep contact. The line steady. And uh, my boss comes up to me. He goes, "Favorite part of the night is when you're telling a story to the VP, and you go, I ain't no bitch.' And I'm like, "Hmm, <laughs> yeah, well, I was telling the truth. See me? I, d I stayed in the wrong room last night. Would a bitch do that?" <laughs> so we go out through all these. I defied the corporate <laughs> sweatpants man. I ain't no bitch. What do you think you said? To get there. I have no idea. I tried to be like, do I have a story where I tag it up with I ain't no bitch? What story closes on I ain't no bitch? I don't know. The only thing I have is, uh, yeah, my name's Zach Russell. It's kind of like Jack Russell, but I ain't no bitch. Which would have fit perfectly into your story. <laughs> you know, like the dog, Jack Russell yeah, Terrier. Yeah, yeah, They're It's bitches? horrible. Aren't they brutal dogs? Uh, no, just in that a dog is a oh, bitch. Oh, got it, got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty over the plate. Got it. Sorry, I worked with dogs, and those dogs are always really mean. Oh, so they sure. were bitches. Yeah, bitches in, in every sense of the word. I ain't no bitch. 
So I maybe you were talking about the room situation. Maybe, uh, maybe you were telling the same story. I did a lot Two of times. And then one, and I mean, I don't bitch. This is what happens in the corporate world. If there's like, anything, yeah, good to meet you, Charles. Anything with a little bit of juice, people want to spread the story around. Yes. Also, another yes. big, big freedom. They in are, they are, they are parched in the desert. They want some juice. juice. They need a drop of juice, and that revitalizes. Well, them. And they want you to keep squeezing that juice to everybody they know. Yeah, so everyone needs a drop. I had to tell this story all over the. Happy of course, hour. yeah, they're probably they're probably trotting you, you around. Know, I'm Charles exaggerating no every bit. time. Wait, sorry, I, him, I gotta let him say it. Yeah. Oh, the light already went off. We've been recording for 27 minutes. Is it dead? Uh, I mean, yeah, it went off. All right, but uh, let me maybe let me the, maybe let me, the tape hit it. Let me chart. You think the tape? What? <laughs> I don't know. I just didn't know that it had a battery life. I thought it was plugged in. Um, I'll try to fix it, but you keep 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 well, going. It's like this time you go around telling these stories, and then it exaggerates because you're a comedian. And they're like, what happened? I'm like, first of all, I pick up the phone. Guy calls me N word hard R right off the gate. <laughs> he goes, <laughs> starts sending me pictures of my mom, <laughs> telling me he knows where I live. He's poisoned the bed. I say I, I got. I say I brought a gun in my pocket. <laughs> Meet me at the town square, Virginia, at sundown. We'll settle this like men. I'll see you in resting. I'll see you in re- and then uh, rest in peace after I'm done with you, because I ain't no, I ain't bitch. no bitch. And uh, so what I'm if you were just like telling a Key and Peel joke? You know that <laughs> sketch where you're like, yeah, and you remember that one where he looks both ways and yeah. he goes, and I said, bitch, bitch. <laughs> which I ain't one. Um. <coughs> Here's another Your thing. Your coffin's that, crazy. Yeah, I, I couldn't sleep all week, and I was chugging caffeine to Why be... Why couldn't you sleep? I was just in this Airbnb, and I don't know. I mean, I was the just... The guilt of staying in room one kept, kept me up. Yeah. Okay, so you're getting drunk every night, right? Yeah, I'm out to happy hours. That's the vibe. On. Oh, is anyone flirting with you? You know, you're a cute young office guy. No, are there any similar no. aged women? Or People are all around similar men? age. Um, there's some jacked dudes there, for sure. There's some dudes... You know when you Jacked think, dudes gravitate to sales. Yeah. Or the or vice versa. Sales gravitate. Sales to jack attracts dudes. jack dudes. <laughs> I mean, that's what got me in, interested. Sure. No, but I had some friends that uh, that were just yoked. Yeah, there's some sales. They're like some Greek god. Like yeah. you could tell, like skinny, but probably really ripped. But then huge arms. Where you're like, sure. okay, you really you think about like if you if you had no other hobby in life, exactly, like, you just go to the gym. Yeah, and like really care. Your hobby is like crushing things. Like, yeah, like really dial it in with the nutrition too. There's yep. a couple of those guys. Because those guys tuck every day. They want to accentuate the V yes. in the, the belt line and then the puffy legs. They got to tuck. They look, yeah, they want, because those are the only guys that are tucking. Carlson. Really? Besides Carlson. And, Who's, uh, who? Tucker, Tucker and Carlson. Oh. <laughs> tuck it in Carlson. Right. Here's another point of I was freedom. Like, was that a character in the story I didn't hear about <laughs> while I was fixing the light? Uh, this is another <laughs> zest. That's a good laugh. That good. <laughs> Zach a, didn't get that's it. That's a fat cat laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Your family's gonna starve. <laughs> All right, keep going. Um, here's a, little, a little, let me know if you knew about this zest, Zach, working in corporate for six All years. All right, some corporate zest. Letting loose the word fuck at the office. Oh. People love letting that loose. Okay, that's like a real. You feel like SpongeBob and Patrick on the cussing episode. Yeah, amp it up. Oh, People it? love yeah. what the fuck. Yeah, and then you see her one person yell fuck, and now you're fucking. Uh huh. You love throwing Marco out. Fucka. People love throwing out fuck across the cubicles. Really? So you're 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 ha- you're th- you're playing fuck catch? Yeah, it's like yeah, you know that that <laughs> game. Yeah. Fuck. So everyone's like thirty years old and they're everyone's getting off like twenty eight. Fuck. No, nobody's like yelling fuck a lot, but like the cuss comes out and you're like, ooh, we should, this is a corporate environment. I don't know if you yeah, should be saying Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Also, uh, this is Central AC. We shouldn't be saying fuck here. I, uh, I work from home the whole time. It's my first time in the office. I'm, now I'm in the office. I got work from home tendencies. I'm like talking to myself. People are like, you okay? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, well, you're talking to yourself and you're naked. And I'm like, yeah, I'm used to. Used to be an home alone. <laughs> Got the hand down the pants. Did yeah. I tell you? I think I told you this on the phone, but the guy at the library, I think I told Molly. I didn't tell you this. There was, I've been a library guy a little bit more because like, there's a library right next to the family that I babysit. Quick aside for this library thing. Is it, it the one it, on like, 93rd relates. Street? No, it's on 58th. It's like 58th and Lex. So, I mean, and the, the, the library scene is a rough scene. P- the regulars of the library are people in in, in dire straits. Yeah, typically, or they usually just you could kind of interchange those people from Dunkin' Donuts to the library. It's a Dunkin' Donuts crowd in the library. Yeah, in the New York Public Library, and there's a guy. So I'm just editing the pod, and there's a guy across from me, and you know he's he. I think he has like a yarmulke on. He's a, like a bigger black dude, round face, simple <laughs> expression with you know joy, but grimace. Right. 
and he's 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 typing with one finger like hard. That's awesome. And then he puts his hand down his shorts like this, kind of just like you're hanging out at home, you know. And I think what he's doing is testing the waters. Uh, I think can he's I do this like, here? can I get a, like okay, this is stage one. Maybe let's escalate. Let's let's maybe we could steal second. You know, I'm wow. on first base. I'm thinking about stealing second. And then he puts his blazer over himself. Ah, oh, blazer over no. the. Oh yes. And then you know he's just hanging out. I don't really see any m movement going on under the blazer. I don't see any turbulence <laughs> under the water. But eventually the security guy does come up to him and he's like, "Hey, buddy, what's uh, what's going on?" And you know he's like, oh, no, I, don't, "I don't know." He just kind of gestures to his screen, which I don't know what was on his screen. Is that hentai? <laughs> it's just I love uh, Japanese art. <laughs> but here's my thing. It's like I, I wasn't really mad at the guy because he's not trying to disturb anyone. He doesn't seem like he's all there. And what is a library if not a public resource for, you know, the, the, the citizens of New York? This guy obviously can't read. So what else can he do in the library? There we go. What other benefits can this civil uh, service be to him? An air-conditioned room to jack off. Exactly. In. We all deserve a, an air-conditioned room that we can and jack off the, in. And that's the Easter egg of every library. If you open up he, a certain book to a sticky page, you know, a hobo is there and blessed it. Yes. He brought his own blazer. Like, he, you know, he yeah, thought geez. this out. He wasn't trying to mess with us, the people. Just trying to get his, you know, get his reading done. Whatever. So, anyway, that was my... Uh, huh. I'm getting and a lot of library characters... Uh, in my life, that I'm just there. It's very weird. You're gonna sooner or later. I think you might become one. It's like Maybe. District Nine. You're gonna get bit. Is that a zombie movie? No, the alien movie where they eat tuna. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do they bite you and you turn into one? I don't remember how you turn into one, but it might be a bite. I didn't think or there was any serum. turning into one. I just thought. Yeah, it was at the end, he turns into the, one of the guys. Oh shit! Yeah, and then he sends a flower. Damon to his, to his wife. Is Matt Damon? Mark no, Wahlberg? No, 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 no. It's just uh, Vickis is the main character. He's like a British guy. Mm. I haven't seen that in a while. Okay. Um, so we're getting drunk. There's fuck. Anyway, There's yeah. Work so from you're home. getting drunk. Oh, now I come home to the Airbnb. Now it's tense. And then I'm telling this story, and everybody's like, Because you haven't reconciled. Well, I was going to reconcile because I'm like, I'm going to be a man. That's like something I want. I don't have a problem with like having a conversation with a guy. Mm -hmm. But I, I'm, I'm telling the story, and they're like, Who is it? And I'm like, This guy. And they're like, Oh, he's like the chillest guy. And I'm like, well, he wasn't chill to me. Yeah. So it's not my problem. He was red hot. And then I get home. There's no... He's not there. And I'm like, I'm not going to... I saw his dad on the couch. And I'm like, I'm not going <laughs> to be like, sir. Can you tell your son? I'm sorry. I feel deep remorse. Yeah. For sleeping in the room two feet down. And I'm like, all right, whatever. It's you tense. a little MLK there. Two feet... I... Sleeping in the room two feet down. I... Couldn't sleep. Even when he was alive, he kind of sounded like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Quivering, but powerful. Um, he would be a tough ghost to get out of your home. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, he, he would couldn't. be. That would be tough. They'd be like, it's his house. Yeah, come so. on. Don't, you're gonna you should be lucky. MLK out of your house. Yeah. <laughs> the ghost of MLK. He's just running uh, speeches that never got approved. Right. And what about this one? Uh, it's long. <laughs> um, that legal black women... We'll come into my home, maybe, and we could have fun when Coretta's away. I work hard. <laughs> I work hard. <laughs> I deserve some some fruits of my labor, some peaches. <coughs> so next morning, I go get coffee with my boss. I'm like, I got to see this guy. I got to say sorry. He's like, you'll probably run into him in the morning. We do walk into the building. He's right there. I go up to him like, hey, man, I'm sorry if I pissed you off on the phone, but like you came in hot. And he's like, it's cool. It's whatever. He's, he didn't say his name. I know I'm not gonna say his name because I don't know. He said his name. His name when his you don't name need to tell me his name. His name but when showed he up, up when he called. Ah, uh, okay. But it was an internal call. So but when like, he picked up, he went, "You're in the wrong room." Yes. First words. Yeah. Okay. And I go, "Hey, I'm sorry, I pissed you off." But he pissed me off. Yeah. But I'm trying to take the right high let road. Me, let me take it off your shoulders. I don't really care about this yeah. interaction. You clearly have a lot going on. Yeah. And I go, he goes, "It's Mentally. all right. It's fine. It's just you know they just remodeled that basement and you went in there and you scratched up all the floors." And I'm like, "What?" What? <laughs> what does it have to do with one or I two? I slept in the wrong room. <laughs> now you know he scratched the floors and he's pinning it on me. He's like, you got, you must have not clipped your toenails. You got claws, man, scratching yes. on my floors. Scratched the floors into my initials. And uh, wow. I was like, what? And he goes, yeah, they're really pissed. Uh, who's they? And I'm like, my parents. Yeah, <laughs> my dad's in town. Yeah. 
And I'm like, yeah. Jesus Christ. And at this point, I'm like, look, in my head, I'm like, if this becomes a bigger issue, I'm going to get really aggressive. But now I think you're crazy. So you're playing like, a little chess. You're so like, I'm going to escalate and press the button. Not in about two more arguments. Well, I just go, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to do this now. That's why I said, I go, do you want me to do this now? <laughs> <laughs> we could do this now. We could do this now. You don't think, do you know I'm, me? I'm pretty available. You don't know me, man. <laughs> I'm pretty free. It's my first time in the office. It could be my last. I'm meeting with the big dogs today at Dell. Tomorrow's like I, tomorrow I got back to backs, so I couldn't do it then, but I could do it now. I can do it now. I got 50 minutes. I can do it now. Trying to schedule it. Can yeah. we do 15 now? Um, can I beat your ass for 15 right now? So I'm like, I'm, could you have beaten this guy up? I mean, he. I don't know. He could have beat me up. He was in the service. His license plate said oh, Semper very, Fidelis. Yes. So that's he spelt out Phi on his license. Oh plate. shit. He's the real deal. Yeah. So he's probably a little covert. Yeah. Um, so I just go covert. I just he goes, you scratch those Nothing floors. about this is covert. No. This is very He's a full uh, uncovert. So I do this where he goes, you scratch the floor. I go, Whoa, dang. <laughs> and I just leave it at that. Because I'm like, if this becomes a thing, like I'll right. I'll stomp it down. But right now I'm just You're gonna try to be like, oh no. Yeah, not I was the like, floors. Shoot, I must have scratched all the floors <laughs> somehow with my weighted Yeah, I get up, I sleepwalk at night and my goat hooves. Uh, you know, I told my girlfriend, she said, You gotta find some slippers. You can't keep sleeping in your cleats. <laughs> and I'm like, they're they're comfy. <laughs> they make me feel like a kid still. What if I gotta get up and run, baby? Yeah, I gotta run and what if I have a nightmare? What if I wanna do jumping jacks? What if I gotta step on the monster under the bed? <laughs> How am I gonna defend oh, myself? Oh, by the way, I get up in the middle of the night the first night to go uh uh, P, bunch of spiders in the sink. Oh God! Yeah, this guy. They have little cleats on. Yeah, they must. Shh, don't tell. <laughs> <laughs> we blamed you. <laughs> what? And uh, so this guy should have stayed in room two. <laughs> <laughs> they go down the drain. Yeah. Um, spiders. Spiders. Jesus in the sink. Christ! And I'm not. I'm not. How a many bug? spiders in the sink? Like two. Okay, but they well, were spiders good size. Aren't bugs. They're rats. Oh, here's the thing too. I I, th I had this observation when I saw the spider. Some people, when you tell them you kill a spider, they get mad because they're like, what kind of spider? And I'm like, look, I don't know. And they're like, did it have a red head with brown legs? And I'm like, yeah, that was a... They're like, oh, that was a good one. You killed a good spider. They pollinate the flowers. You ever have that where they always like that? That spider had a, re a resolution between the Israel and Palestine conflict <laughs> and you killed the last one. I'm like, look, it made me go, ew. It should have done a better job the on The resolution was written onto his... Uh, Whatever. Abdomen. Yeah, it's yeah. abdomen. I'm trying to think of parts of a spider. It ran away a week ago, and it sounds like you just found it. Oh, jeez. Now the Jews are going to be stuck on holy grounds forever. <laughs> it, had, it had the key to peace, that spider. <laughs> no, I've never heard people get mad at a spider. Oh, yeah, bees, people don't like if you kill bees. Bees? Well, spider, most spiders kill the like mosquitoes. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. They're exterminate. Right. So you want a spidey in your corner. Or maybe this is just a spider that learned to write and put out an article in the uh, English Current. But you think what if uh, that'd be a good like after his career Spider-Man, like after he's a superhero, he just works for Orkin. He goes in just like spraying webs to catch like, like yeah, you got it pretty bad. <laughs> All right. I'll come back in a week. See how it see how it's doing. You want this weekly, monthly? That what do you want? A bad job. Yeah. It gets in a truck with a big he's like, hold on. Let me check the roof. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's one. Oh. <laughs> mm. um, I've been learning from Frogman as well. <laughs> So there's can, some spideys. Can I tell you about my nightmare real quick? Yeah. Or do you do you, you want to keep? I'm going? trying to see if I can. Uh, no, you can tell me. Because it's a, it's just a quick thing about. Last night I had a nightmare that I did. Uh, you know, just speaking of uh, the <laughs> things that go bump in the night and spooky things at night. I did coke in the dream. How, oh, I was gonna say, how often? The more I talk to you, the more you're doing coke. <laughs> Zach's like, becoming kind of a Zach coke head. I'm like, what? No, are you no, doing? no, 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 no. No. Hey, look, that was one time and I did a set and I was tired and people were telling me how good I was and I had to stay up for that. I got booked again. They're like, can you do a That's different great. 10? And I was like, ooh, I don't even know if I have a different 10. <laughs> <laughs> You're fanning. I don't, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I could pull one out of my ass. <laughs> yes. I guess I could do a 10 for you. <laughs> like, if you want. <laughs> <laughs> so like total of a 20? Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, so I did coke, and uh, I was with the children I babysit's father. In I the dream. I picked him up, yes, in the dream. You know how in dreams everything's kind of mixed up? So it was like we were driving to my house, like my Maryland house or whatever. And then, th so this next scene happens, not from my perspective, it's like a movie. So like I'm seeing it from third person. We drive up to the driveway, and like, so the camera <laughs> is like at the garage facing out. And you see lights pull in? So I see lights, but no, <laughs> but it's like, 
Oh, and I'm on two wheels. I'm like turning crazy. I hit on the brakes or I, I hit something. The dad hadn't put his seatbelt on. Flies <laughs> out of the windshield. I go in the house. I'm like, I'm so sorry. Because the mom, the whole reason this happened is because I was out on, it was Saturday night. I'm out. I'm doing coke. I'm a successful comic. It's my dream. Shut up. And they, they call me. They're like, we need you. We need your <coughs> nannying <coughs> abilities right now. Okay. And I'm like, I'm on it. You know, I'm on call. I'm, I'm on it. Yeah, I'm, I'll get the kids. So <laughs> I'll pick up your husband on the way home. His scooter broke down. Um, so, you know, he's dead. And then I walk he's in. He's dead. I, he, I, who knows? We've moved on from that. Okay. I just know that that happened. This is a, a single cam shot. knows that that happened. Right. No it's editing. a single shot. It's Birdman. It, exactly. And so I walk in and the wife is like, I don't think we, like, I can't use you anymore. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Get any more coke, by the way. <laughs> so I'm trying. I'm like, I thought it was so unfair because I responded to the call even though I was on coke and having a nice night out. This all happened so fast. Like at the same time, she also had my replacements there, so I like Whoa. met my replacements, and they were like two, 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 two girls. Um, and I'm like, they're not going to be able to handle these kids. Two women Come on. stacked on top of each other in a trench coat. <laughs> you think that makes a man with my haircut? You Come have on, no idea what makes a man. To take care of these hellions you've birthed, so uh, yeah, that was that was my dream. It was wild. I lost my job, and I got up being like, "Damn, I feel like that was actually a decent job. That was like decent money, and like I'm gonna miss it." And then I'm like, "Oh wait, the other kids, I could text Abby because she had texted me recently. Oh, the nice. other family had texted me, being oh, like, hey, can it. you watch Eleanor and the other? Oh, there's another nanny job up for sale if you want to dip these kids. I, Tina texted me. I'm the operator now. I'm plugging <laughs> comics into nanny yeah, jobs. Tina's, Tina's a recruiter. She's in nanny sales. Yeah, I, I, Eloise is up for sale. Woo, baby. Well, I might uh, I might pick her right off the auction block. Yeah, she's pretty good, dude. Okay. Indentured. Uh, yeah. <laughs> as long as she'll do like you know minor chores for me. Can she lift 40 pounds? You know how that's like in strong. the description for some jobs? Must be able to lift 45 yeah, I, pounds. Trust me, I've worked all of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're like, it's way more than that. It's me on the street. That sign is 45 pounds. <laughs> My shoulders are huge. Must be able to stand for 8 to 19 hours <laughs> and lift 45 pounds many times. <laughs> Cut to me in a fancy steakhouse. Oh, oh. <laughs> Pulling a big tray full of plates. Yeah, full of steak. Yeah. Uh, all right, so... Oh, this is the end of the Airbnb saga. Okay. So we go out, more food, more... We're all getting drunk with the big wigs. Luckily, yeah. I don't mention I'm a comic, but all my bosses do because it's like the only thing. They love that. They yeah. love that you're a comic. Trying it spices to sell, it up. Yeah, it spices Their it up. Their lives are so it. boring. Yeah. They suck so bad that even a story about someone who might be trying to do something else yes. is interesting. And luckily, the big boys that I had to meet with, I did a three-hour meeting, was so tired because up till 3 a.m. The whole meeting, I'm just going, oh! Stay awake, and every they're talking big numbers, and uh, big numbers can't disclose what do you that. Mean, like gajillion, yeah, quadrillion. Oh. Started at a kajil. Whoa! Tell me when and we it get only to, went up. <laughs> you've been out of the business a while. I kid. have, dude. I don't know what's going on. Inflation's running rampant. But, they're uh, starting at kajil. <laughs> yeah, dude. that's insane. That's the name of my kid, by the way. Uh, kajil. Kajil Engel. <laughs> um, so we go billionaire. We go out to we go out to dinner. That's when you're mad By the at way, them. it sucks being in New York because they're like, this place is good. Then you get it and you're like, this place is shit. I can get better food at, at a bodega. I mean, so rarely am I at a restaurant and and it's amazing. Oh no, not at all. Even and at a, a nice place. I know. I'm generally well, the, underwhelmed. The nice is all a ruse. Yeah. I worked at the restaurants where Drake. You pay for the sconces and the yeah. light fixtures. You, you pay for the butter. What it really is you is pay butter. Pay for the butter. The I worked at the restaurant in Arizona. Drake, football players, Rush, all day was celebrities. I served the Kardashians. Wow. The, the butter's the, actually tit milk. Yeah. Yeah. That's it's why it's so pricey. Kardashian tit. Of trafficked milk. sex slaves. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of every food line at a fancy restaurant, because, you know, the expo guy has to look at it and then they'll pass it by the chef to look at it. And But at the fancy ones, a chef. Oh, it's a, like a checkpoint. Yeah. yeah you're you like trying to, to get into Afghanistan. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Random checkpoint for the food. Yeah. The chef at the fancy places, they have a bottle of clarified butter. It's the worst butter for you. It's okay. Clarified. And at okay. the end of everything, the chef just goes. <laughs> Over everything you order. Must taste pretty good though. Yeah, it tastes good. So that's what you're you're like, oh my god. Oh, you're just, you're just spooning butter. Okay. The cake at that fancy place was called butter cake. Okay. Three thousand calories for a little hockey puck. Uh whole stick of butter. 
A wow. Kajilla butter. I went to a fudge place and they listed calories at the fudge place. Oh, you shouldn't do that. It was weird. I'm like, you just just that. write yeah. fudge. Yeah. Fudge, calories, fudge. Yeah, like, what fu- are you talking about? <laughs> it's what who what what tortured soul is trying to squeeze this They're into their day? Into their macros. Yeah. yeah just like, well, if I skip dinner and unplug my fridge so all my food goes bad. <laughs> <laughs> maybe might be able to fit in some fudge. <laughs> I could maybe get a half a square of mint bark in my savital life. <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah, have some fudge. I indulge. couldn't believe you have some fudge. <laughs> Um, okay, so we go out, do all that. Stuff. These guys, these big dogs, huge comedy fans. Okay. My boss was like, this guy's a comedian. And they go, How do you, how'd you feel about Last Comic Standing season one? And I was like, wow, this is a 20-year reference. And I go, uh, did you watch season one? No. There's a big thing where the guy who won didn't even have an hour. He was like a hack. He oh, didn't, really? He couldn't even tour because he didn't have an hour, and it was like bad. So now all he does is like teach a comedy class, and it was with Ralphie May was number two. Oh, Ralphie May, we yeah, all know, yeah, could do three hours. Right. And uh, who won? Dat Fan, this guy. Dat, oh, I've heard of him. And I thought I, it was Clay Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to think of that for so I was just stalling. I'm like, what the fuck? Is it Clayton? Um, what's that? He has Clayton a, he Aiken? Has a really creepy song. <laughs> if I was invisible, I would just watch you in your room. <laughs> if I was invisible, I would make you mind night. Very creepy. Whoa. Yeah. He really escalated. He's and like, then, I'm just going to watch you. Yeah. I'm going to make you I'm going to make you I'm going to make you mine. And then the next chorus to make you forget is this. If I was invisible, whoa. <laughs> and now you're singing it. So now you forget about what he said. That'll make, that wipes your mind. That's her crying as he loads her into yeah. the trunk. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> I would Whew. just sodomize your ass. There's a lot of creepy. <laughs> it's very creepy. So they go, how do you feel about season one? They test me. If I was invisible, I would you'd be try. like, is there someone in my ass? <laughs> your parents would open the door to a note. If I was invisible, <laughs> they'd note. pay me their life savings <laughs> to get you back for just one more night alive. <laughs> um... <laughs> What a crazy hostage terms. Yeah, you can see it for one more night alive yeah. if you give me a million dollars. <laughs> and that's my final offer. <laughs> it's she's gonna die. Yeah. All right. So um, you're you're with so you're I talking go, Clay Aiken they and throw that fan. out there. Well they they go, How do you feel about last comic standing season one? And I I go, Okay, these guys know comedy. Yeah. And I go, Fuck dad fan dad fan. And they go, Fuck dad fan. And I was like, Wow, you guys actually uh you know what comedy is. And they go, Yeah, we go to the festivals. That's what festivals. we like to do. Like we go to Laughing School, we go to all these places. <laughs> oh shit! And I was like, they're like, we just got back from Fortune Feimster, and I was like, wow, wow, and okay. They go, you know, we're comedy guys, and I was great. like, well, that's great. So uh, I'm in with the big dogs, you and then like, book me for the corporate, please. I'd love to bomb in front of you guys. Yeah, um, then go back to work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll get, get off my stage. Calls. Get off stage. Put on a headset and go sit down. <laughs> <laughs> just eat shit. Fuck. <laughs> and then be like, hi, this is Charles. I was wondering if you're satisfied with your current um, software provider. <laughs> what do you guys, do you sell Dells or something? I sell anything Dell. Anything Dell. Yeah. Okay. Would you guys need anything Dell? What about a uh, Dell? <laughs> <laughs> you guys there should have her partner up. I would love to. She's hot now. Yeah. And she was always pretty, but now she's... They tried to cancel her, too, because she did, like... Jamaican day and like Jamaican clothes and like her hair braided a certain way. Mm. And they were like, she's appropriating face. culture and she was like, hey, fuck you. Hey, fuck you. Yeah, she was like, step off me right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm setting uh, fire, setting to, the fire rain, to the rain over here. <laughs> you couldn't hit these notes if they hit you on the backside. I, I told you about, I think I told you the joke about the Adele joke I had. It was, uh, I was like, this was like when that f- song first came out of the, uh, hello, the hello from the other side. Yeah. You remember that song? Hello from, I must have called, I tried to have a lyric joke where she goes, uh, I must have called a million times. I go, who's not picking up the phone <laughs> for Adele? <laughs> this chick's setting fire to the rain and somebody's sending her a voicemail? <laughs> <laughs> I go, who's at the lunch? Who's at the l-? She's performing biblical miracles and you're <laughs> screening her calls? I go, uh, this come was, on. This was my joke. I tried to have an act out. I go, who's at the lunch with their best friend? Like, oh, yeah. And I'll have the. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Oh, it's just Adele. <laughs> no, I don't need that. <laughs> That's fun. I'll have the. Uh, this is what I tried to be. I'll, I said, uh, I'll have the quesadilla. No cheese. And I go, That's how stupid the guy is who ignores Adele. He gets the quesadilla. No cheese. Wow. That ended really bad. Just the dia. But the. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no quesadilla. But the, uh, the take was funny. I think it's a funny take. I had a lyric joke. I ever tell you this one about the Kendrick song, Loyalty? 
No. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. And then he goes, is it, un- uh, uh, fuck, is it, is it love? Okay, it's like, who do you have loyalty for? Is it love for the streets when the lights get dark? Is it unconditional when the Rari don't start? I'm like, who's ditching Kendrick? Because his Rari's battery's dead. <laughs> <laughs> who's his Ferrari's out of, crazy, out of oil? <laughs> and you're like, Babu, you too poor for me. Come on. I've been saying come on a lot. Yeah, come like on. Joe Biden. He's like, I got, I got, I got another whip. In the <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I, got, I got other cars we could use. Yeah. She's like, Kendrick, I've been meaning to talk to you about your stutter. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so we dinner goes well. Everybody was really cool. I did enjoy the the company. The staff is amazing. Everybody's yeah, that very be chill. A fun time. That's good. Everybody was great. And then I got. So and now, you got to make the most of it when you're there. Yeah. You got to be like, look, who, what's the good that I can get out of this? You Everybody nice that works there is time. great. It was good. That's I was good. just tired That's in good. another state. But and you're like, yeah, why am I here? This is not what I signed up for. Yeah. I wanted to make calls and jack off most of the day, and mm-hmm. it turns out. You should flip the ratio. Yeah. I'm making calls and jacking off a very small amount of the day. In between calls. Yeah. That's not um, enough. That is not enough. No, no, no. But uh, so now I, I used go to go to the lactate. The lactate? Yes. There was a room in my office on the first floor where nobody really was. Like a la- maternity room or something. And you could see like breast milk was on the chair. There was like, and I would just oh. go in there and take a little 10 minute nap. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying you're a jack off uh, in no, the breast milk. No, no, no. Yeah, no one will tell the difference. Yeah. No one's coming down here testing it. Do you think breast milk lights up in a black light? If jizz does, breast milk probably does. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I don't know if I, what makes our jizz bioluminescent. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe those waters that's just whale cum. All those people think they're swimming with the plankton, <laughs> but you're just shining a black light on the sea, and the whales are like, "Hey, how much do whales come?" How much do My jizz. Uh, and what's the sound of a whale coming? I think, I think you only hear them coming. You maybe only hear them coming. <laughs> <laughs> Rory! <laughs> it's too fast. It's after a minute. Oh, no! <laughs> well, you sound a little... <laughs> well, under the sea. What does that whale have? <laughs> <laughs> He can stay underwater for a little longer than the yeah. other one. Well, it looks like he was f- <laughs> yeah, stuck he was, underwater. Yeah, he a little had a little, little rosemary birth. Didn't breach and breathe enough when he was born. No, a little oxygen I think there are videos of whales coming. Sure. Because it's like a lot and it makes the water all murky. Murky. Okay. Um, let me tell you the end, of, the end of this story. So I get home all to right. the Airbnb. My buddy drops me off. Now they're, in, they're renovating the house. Let me play this for you. This is what I get, get home to. Jackhammers and... Construction man? Yes. Are you serious? So now this guy thinks, he's telling me I'm scratching the walls, making me angry, and I'm like... <laughs> making me angry. Making me angry. <laughs> and uh, then I we pull up, and there's a bunch of, like, cement trucks and, oh and like, God. helicopters, and I'm like... Helicopters? Yeah. <laughs> Some just, guy stole a Just cement hovering truck. over the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah just, you know, supervising. Um, it's a corporate Airbnb, so they needed the corporate chopper out. This is what I hear when I get home. Uh, this is in the bedroom, by okay. the way. Okay, all right. The bedroom one? Jeez. All night. All night. And I'm like, you, All right. you lose, buddy. There's a kid there. By the way, I didn't I tell think you there was a you kid. you lose. There was a kid there staying overnight. Okay. And at night, I would wake up, and i just hear, ah! like, screaming. Oh, my God. Screaming. <laughs> a kid screaming. Yikes. Where I was like, do I call do you think Stabler? They were tr- do you think he had information they were trying to get out of him? Yeah, I think was they were Was it really a construction him. project, or yeah, do you think they were, they were chopping off limbs? He was, and I, then I, I saw them loading bamboo in. I don't know why. <laughs> For the fingernails, maybe. And then uh, the mom did not react. Uh, the mom reacted like she was aware I was in the house, but the kid was screaming, and the mom would just go, shh, 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 shh. This sounds like you're and staying like, in a tenement building in the, yeah. in the five points of New York. Yeah. This sounds like, like 1890s New York City. There's and Irish <laughs> and Italian scum, <laughs> you know, five bunks high. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there's spiders, Italians. Spiders, What's worse? I don't know, man. I actually thought you meant Italians. It yeah. spiders in the yeah. sink. A bug or a wop. <laughs> what is worse? And then, I so this kid's screaming all night. They're drilling all night. You know, they're killing kids, making noise. Yeah. Spiders on my mouth. And then I wake up probably. to leave for the last day. That's probably why you're coughing so much. You got like eight, nine spiders in there. I you think got your year's worth of spiders you know, in that night. One of the nights I got up to pee, and as soon as I got off the bed, a big earwig came out of the out of the bed. What's an earwig? It's the, it looks like a uh, centipede, but it has a little snappy oh, at the end. God. Big earwig comes out from what under the, the bed, and I go, place? hey. And it stops, and it goes back under the bed. Oh, my God. 
And it's I the was corporate like, Airbnb on Skull Island? What the hell? And I was like, well, it did listen to me. It knows I'm in charge. Yeah. And uh, so now I wake up. It's the last day. There's been drilling and kids dying all night. I feel like I'm on Epstein's Island. <laughs> and then I go up the stairs to get out of there. And above the door, there's like a decorative ledge. But it's like enough ledge to where a kid could like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hoist himself onto it somehow. Yeah. So I'm going up the stairs. I look up, see the ledge. There's a kid pointing double Nerf guns at me. Ooh. And I'm like. Should have stayed in room two. Lights you up. Yeah. <laughs> And I just go, uh, I want to yell at him, but I'm, I got a target on me. He's ready yeah. to kill. And I just go <laughs> and leave for the last time. Wow, dude. And then what I a nightmare. It. it was a lot. The Airbnb was a lot. Whew. I mean, that's stressful. I can't believe the construction after the scratch floor comment. <laughs> it's like, yeah, dude, there's going to be sawdust and asbestos yeah. all over this place. Did Charles do this? <laughs> Did Charles mount this TV? Did Charles take out a load-bearing wall? <laughs> what is this kid doing? I think Charles broke the I-beam. supposed to be making calls. What's an I-beam? <laughs> it's like a big supportive beam. Ah, nice. Yeah, I've worked a lot of jobs. Yeah. I haven't worked any construction jobs. I know about spackle. <laughs> Spackle's good. Caulk is a funny construction word. Very fun. Caulk's Kalk. good. Caulk. Yeah. Give me some caulk. <laughs> Can you hear me that cock? Yeah, cock's fun. Well, damn. So my prediction, because I was thinking about your plight, your corporate plight, <coughs> which is the plight of many, and I'm thinking, once you're two, maybe anywhere from two to three years into the job, I think you'll be able to coast more. Because when I started, it was hell like this. Well, too. I got I to hated coast, it. and now they start giving me, like, uh -huh. they're giving you more. I'm the main guy to well, him they'll probably now. give you a raise soon. You're going to be there for a year soon, right? I don't Yeah, my, uh, I hope so. But, uh, yeah, they're like, next year we're going to take you to Florida for the conference. And I'm like, next year I better be a comedian. <laughs> next year I want to delete my LinkedIn. I don't even have one. Oh, boy. You, gotta get, you don't have a LinkedIn? Never Charles, had one. Charles, use mine. Okay. It's good. <laughs> What's, you got a LinkedIn? Yeah, I use my buddy's ax. <laughs> <laughs> we share an account. <laughs> they hire him all the time. I can't believe you don't have I a show LinkedIn. up. They're like, Zach? And I'm like, I, they, I use his account. How do they link with you, these people? How are they networking digitally? Nobody networks digitally. Give them your IG. They do. They follow me on IG. Oh, nice, look at dude. my jokes. Hell yeah. Because I'm sick. Because I'm fucking hilarious. Um, You're a comedian. But yeah, fans. that was my little corporate trip. Well, you let me let me hit you with my uh, concert. Do you mind if I pee first? Yeah, give Please a pee. Oh, you haven't had a pee all for one hour. This is a good. This is a new record for Charles. No pee one hour. You know what's funny is if we ever do a live pod, there will we will have to do a pee break. We will disappoint too. Well, <laughs> sure. I mean, but I th I think the the fans might be happy to be like he's really peeing. Yeah, it's true. He's actually peeing. Yeah, I need to use a uh, Benjamin Franklin catheter. <laughs> Flexible cath. The lightning cod piece. <laughs> what about that? What do you think of that? All right, hit me with the concert. Um, oh, dude, so it was it was a great concert. Ah, dude. Ah, dude. Ah, dude. Jeez, uh, best concert of my life. Too many minorities, but it was still good tunes. <laughs> 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 you went by. What? You were going a little more south than me. I was in Canada. You were in Boston. Yeah. Ah, dude. That's ah, Marnella. fuck. Oh, what's up, dude? Yeah. Sup, dude? Cry. So fucking, there's a lot. There's all these blacks at this metal show. I'm like, that's why I like metal because there's no blacks. <laughs> <laughs> Was it diverse? It was pretty diverse, I would say. But um, great, great show. Really fun. And you know where it is. It's um, Oh, I know where it is. Where is <laughs> it? It's uh, the stand. You know, sometimes when you're at the stand and you see a line of like oh, ugly, cool. ugly goth people. Yeah. That's where it is. What's that place called? Irv Irving Plaza cool, or Irving Hall yeah. or something. It's cool. cool. It's like you go in. It's like a House of Blues set up. Like they have the the balcony where people can stand and lean over and watch. And then the pit and then the bar in the back. So it's a good setup. <clears throat> The, immediately though, I'm pissed off because there's no reentry. Oh yeah, and I didn't know that. And so yeah, I like getting fucked up at a concert. I think it's fun. You know what I mean? Get get a little high, get a little drunk, whatever. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. I couldn't because I mean I I took some hits in the park and I was riding beforehand and everything. I parked right next to the stand, so like easy access to my car could go in and out between acts. Like this is gonna be great. No reentry. Big sign on the wall. No reentry. And I go, dude, this, I mean, this is how they get you. This is how they screw you. I'm buying, I bought a Stella for the price of a cocktail. 
Fifteen dollar Stella, fifteen dollar trip. You know, Stella how? also is like what you just say when you don't know what else to say. Yeah, it's, it's like I'll take a Stella. If you said beer, they would give you Stella. Yeah, you just yeah. And for some reason, they charge a lot for a Stella. So I was like, I'll get one beer. You know, I'm yeah. having a con. It's a fun time. I was gonna go with Pedro Salinas, a funny God, that guy's funny comic, but he had an ear infection or something. He was like, I don't want to shove shit into my ear because like the earplugs. So whatever. So I'm like, I'll get a drink, whatever. So it's, you know, it's 15 bucks. I'm like, oh, whatever. I didn't know it's not no, no reentry at this point. So I'm still like, whatever, I'll get one drink, not knowing that I w- would have to rely on the drinks for any kind of buzz. So, you know, I got to fucking sell my car to get buzzed here. <laughs> and I get a, st- and you know how you can write like a signature for the tip? Yeah. I just wrote, fuck. You did? Yeah. Fuck. I wrote, yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote, my word. Yikes. <laughs> And I asked the guy after, I think, my second one, I was like, can you read those? He's like, no. I'm like, good. Because <laughs> I don't want you thinking it's, a, it's a, about you. Because I was I'm just trying to, yeah, this is within me. This is me. I'm just trying to get this out. And, of course, I'm going to get it out in the mosh pit. Dude, I'm, the older I get, the more I mosh. Oh, really? Yeah. And also, the longer, you physically get things the, out. Longer the pain lingers you ever, because I'm older. <laughs> that could have been on my, tith, my tooth chipped. Oh, yeah. I, I have no idea. it was a chocolate-covered nut. Maybe not. Probably a mosh pit. But you're like, yeah. I think it was the popcorn. Yeah, I think it was the popcorn, not the guy's head Pretty slamming into yeah. me. What were you going to say about Martian? Getting it out? You like getting it out physically. I said, you should go to axe throwing or like those damage rooms. No, I mean, I like... What? You're telling me you go to one of those rooms where they give you a baseball bat and they start playing a Treyu, you wouldn't rock out with your I cock mean, if out? if they're playing a Treyu, but I'd like them there. I'd li- I'd, I like the live music experience. I okay. mean, we're performers. I like seeing perform and how they get the crowd going. So it's three acts, It's and the heaviest act goes up first, which I was not expecting. So it's Rivers of Nile. That's like the death metal band. I like how they were like, you know Nile River? It's N-I-H-I-L. Sure. So it's like Nihil. Okay. You know, like nothing. I have no idea. Nihilism or something? Something like yeah. that. Second band is Thank You Scientist. It's like a jazzy rock band. Oh, like They're very bear, good. Like Bear Ghost? I don't know Bear Ghost. Okay. <laughs> and then Between the Buried and Me, which is the headliner. And, and were they the most? Are were they, in your opinion, the most talented? All or the bands are very good. They're all and the, dude, the the autistes were out in in big numbers. Wow. Because the band, they're very technical bands. Like, thank you, scientists, especially. Is it math rock? Kind of, but there's it's like Coheed and Cambria if they were more jazzy. And like ska, like they have a trumpet, a saxophone, yeah. a violin. Oh wow! Like all this shit. And I see dudes like, and I'm kind of high, and I do this too. But I see other people who I think that's just how they operate. That's just always how they are. And the song would be like, and I see them tapping along to it, and, be, uh, and after they nail it on stage, they'll be, they'll be like, yes, uh, <laughs> they do like they're a, doing DDR. Yeah, they're they, playing they really are a perfect score. Yeah, they're grading them. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're yeah. grading the, the the band. So okay, so I yeah, get my drink. I got my Stella, and Rivers of Nile comes out. Didn't expect that. They start playing a song that everybody knows. It's like except one of the most you. No, I know. Oh, it. you know. You no, didn't expect I, I like it, but I like okay. the band. I just didn't <laughs> expect this song. So now I'm trying to chug my because the moshing begins immediately. Whoa! So and I'm trying you to chug my. So I have you a drink wanna, in the mo- I've never been in a mosh. Are you actually you gotta like get in the mosh? You don't punch. No, I have bad. I know if I get in a mosh, someone's hitting me with brass knuckles. I'm taking you to a mosh. No, no one no, no, has no, no, brass no. knuckles. Someone's on. hitting me. No one's hitting. I mean, people might hit you. Yeah, that's what. I'm, but I feel like I'm gonna get the worst hit. <laughs> Maybe. Watch me get thrown around a little bit and be like, I could do that. It's like going to an open mic. You're like, I could get beat up worse, you know, less worse than yeah, that. So what guy. happens? How do you get? What do you do in the mosh? You t- okay, so it's like a lot of pushing. It's like yeah. push dancing, kind of. And there's some people who go like nuts with it, where they're like kicking and like their arms are flailing, and people kind of hate those guys. Okay, you know, they're hacks. They're not great, but there are people in in the mosh, which I just realized this happens. You know you're singing along to a song, right? And you, you know you know all the words, so you're singing along. There's people in the mosh who look as though they're auditioning to become front men. Mm. You know what I mean? They have like a fake mic in their hand, and ah. they're like, da, 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 and like the Jeez. hands up and everything. I'm wondering if they're like, I hope he sees me. Maybe he calls you. Me. Maybe he calls me up. Get up here. Get the bass we had for the chosen one. Put him in the Give river. Him. Yeah. Dip him in the river. You are Nile. You are nothing now. I don't know why they're from California, um, <laughs> but they were <laughs> the thing about moshing, too, because I feel like there's a lot of straight edge people around. And certainly there was a lot of, you know, people 
hitting vapes and shit, which I would have brought a pen or something. Of course, if I'd known it was no reentry. Yeah, that's they terrible. fucked me on the no reentry. Well, do are a lot of concerts reentry? That's the thing. I don't know. I think you might I be. I think I'm wrong. Yeah, because I think it's better because now with the shootings and stuff the like shootings, that. shootings, they're like, well, I'm going to get my gun in between acts. Yeah, I'm going to see if this place pull. is shootable. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to case it first, and then I'll bring in my rifle before the headline. River's a rifle. Shoot I want to see the up. first band, but I, yeah. Yeah. I want to have a good time, then I want to work. So there's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one drink for me, and then you know I'll get to get to get down to business, killing the infidel. You know, ever since the pandemic, I've learned to en- enjoy life a little bit more. You got to take in the little moments <laughs> before you wreak mass carnage. <laughs> you know, just doing what the song says—that's the argument. They're I'm like, "What? Th- if you listen to the lyrics, you'd see that that's the kind of behavior they're promoting." <laughs> anyway, so you're moshing; it's fun, and I th- I think, especially you you know you've been to like live music events where it's not mixed very well, like. Like the, the, the audio, yeah. yeah, the sound oh, is kind of yeah. shitty. Oh, yeah. One of my least favorite concert experiences, I went to see August Burns Red, pretty popular metalcore band, and I think Texas in July opened for them, and I could see with my own two eyes him on the fretboard tearing it up, and I knew he was soloing it. Couldn't hear a goddamn note. Wow. And it was so frustrating because you could hear the bass, you could hear the drums, but you couldn't hear the main, the, the like the high notes on the guitar, and I'm like, well, what is the point of any of this if I'm just, you know, I'm getting blown out by bass? It's like a Troy Bond clip. <laughs> I mean, come on, man, those are <laughs> those he blows those out like, on purpose. I don't know what's going. on. They're like filmed on his dad's old camcorder. Well, the comments all say the blown out bass makes us I better, I and know. I'm like, you guys are curating. Now. He's listening to you. I'm not sure. I Cut don't all this out. I, I'm, I was gonna leave it in until you said. <laughs> I'm leaving that, it in. Sorry, I don't understand. Never mind. We'll talk about it off mic. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, difficult hearing the audio. And okay, so if you don't like Rivers, it's a very deathy band. And these other bands, like Between the Buried Me, is kind of progressive-y and jazzy as well. And Thank You Scientist is like kind of firmly just a progressive rock jazz, like no screaming. So not everybody knows Rivers of Nile. So I feel like moshing in a way, if you don't know the band, is something to do. Okay. You're, if you're like bored, uh, I realize that. I'm bored. Maybe I'll go punch somebody in the Maybe face. Maybe I'll go get in a human whirlpool. That's what it is. It's like, maybe I'll just put, put this fucking wash cycle on. Anybody want to be a spoon in a garbage disposal? <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what it feels like. But it's fun because it's pushing. But there is concern for people. Like, if someone falls, everyone stops and they get them up. Like, if you, so there's no trampling. This isn't like Astro World, you know, <laughs> where like there's like mass casualties. And I think there's something about liking such a niche thing together. Hardcore love more. I guess. That's a shirt. Yeah, that's good. That's not bad. And there's these there's these kids who are really going hard. And it's funny because you can see the elders of the pit who have kind of aged out of it. The gray beards of the mosh. The elders. And they, in between the, the Jedi songs, Council. The count. Right. Obi-Wan from like the per- the periphery of the mosh pit will like in between songs, look back or like in, be- in between acts, like dap him up. Be like, dude, I saw you out there. Oh, really? That's what it's all about. Nice. <laughs> it's like you got to dance like a monkey post colonoscopy. That's you're doing the Lord's what? work. <laughs> So they're having fun in the mosh. And uh, at one point, the river's front man goes like, you guys got lighters? And then everyone, like probably 20 people instantly take out their phones. And he goes, phones. It's like just one word. <laughs> like I, it was the timing was so perfect. He was so disappointed. He was Did like, laugh? God damn it. Yeah, I mean, I wrote it down. Did anybody else laugh? I don't think people laughed, but it was like comedically perfect. Yeah. Do you, I mean, lighters? phones of course <laughs> amazing so, he so said like his funny. girlfriend said like nobody has lighters babe yeah it's phones well then you, you a few people whipped out lighters like because you have yeah, to fish them out of your sucks. pocket three little flames in the air i know but then you imagine like uh, could you imagine if the, everyone in this venue had a lighter how crazy it's, that would it's be closed right? that's insane yeah the gas if somebody farts everyone dies <laughs> it's like the miami condo collapse if one guy oh, l- cuts some cheese um I think I think that's how the Chicago fire started. It wasn't a cow and a lantern. It was a <laughs> concert full of cows with <laughs> lighters and their little hooves. They couldn't hold on, so mm. they, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they can't go downstairs. No, not at all. So that's you know the two steps were too much. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to make it accessible for the cows. Um, so yeah, we're moshing, having a good time. I'm trying to think what else with the river. Oh, they have a saxophone in some of the songs, and weirdly. To me, they had the computer open playing and you could see like the audio track. They basically had like Adobe Audition open and 
that was mixed into their songs, and you would see when the saxophone would start playing. Really? Like yeah. off to the side? It was like a laptop, a laptop flipped towards the crowd? facing you. And I'm like, well, at least put like a loop of um, Careless Whisper on. You know what I mean? Like a guy playing saxophone. When uh, the, you know yeah, what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, even yeah, like put a, a, graphic. a bowling alley animation yeah. of a pin playing a sax and like falling That's down. Funny. Strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all those stitched together. I've seen some online of those where like the bowling ball, the, the two pins are like the two towers and the bowling ball hits <laughs> the, the twin towers. I'm like, is that a real one or did someone just make that? That's funny. That'd it's so well done. I, I, that's I a, that's can't tell if it's not idea. a real one. Yeah. Strike, and then you look up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, geez. And then Tower 7 is just like, hi. And there's <laughs> one pin left. Um, so what was weird about the saxophone is that Thank You Scientist has a saxophonist. They have a person who plays saxophone who's very good, as, who could have learned the songs on this tour that they're going on for months. And instead, they're like, no, you just open the Mac. Can you just use really? your computer? So yeah. he just stood by the side? And I, I brought that point up to some guy, and he was like, yeah, I don't know. He was an Indian fan of Rivers. <laughs> Huh. Yeah, so I thought that was weird. I was like, wait, they got a saxophone coming right up. Is he just like, the the reed's not wet yet? Like, what's uh, going on? Yeah. He's not prepped? Maybe he said, uh, yeah, maybe there's a little internal conflict. He's like, I don't do death. Yeah. I, I do it. jazz, ska, groove, rock. But why would he be there if they're just going to play the loop? Why would who be there? Like, why would the saxophonist be there? Well, the he's in Thank You, Scientist. Oh, He's in the other it. band. Got so it. the band after them had a saxophone that they did not lend to the previous acts, which I thought was kind of funny. Maybe they don't like each other. Uh, maybe they not. They could hate each other. Maybe. Yeah. No thank you, scientist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're not welcome. Um, let me see it's what else is going weird. on here. Ooh, I did, uh, I did. Okay, so Between the Buried and Me comes on. Oh. I got one thing about Thank You Scientist, and then I'll talk about Between... Because uh, then when Between the Buried Me is there, they're the headliner, it's completely sold out, completely wow. packed. The mosh is, is hot. Yeah. Temperature hot. Like, all the humidity and the breath and the bodies, I literally had to, like, like wow. gasp for air like a duck in an oil spill, just, like, surfacing <laughs> like, a, like a whale. Um it was crazy. Like I almost whale I, after he came. I literally almost passed out two times. Jeez. Like I had to make my way to the side where like the you know they got those like railings. You and had just like lean over the, the skin. railing. Like <laughs> I I could feel that I was breathing in just recycled carbon dioxide that uh, other people were breathing yeah, out. Gross. Yeah. I was inhaling exhales. Inhale That's exhale. Band, you know that man. band? Inhale exhale is a band. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. good for me. Good for them. Uh, <laughs> not you. You're not in the band. Well, I guess their name. It's gonna be a good band <laughs> okay, name. Yeah, I guess. I guess you deserve half their earnings. Yeah, definitely. I, I deserve their masters. <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right, so before we get into the, uh, the, the heat of Between the Buried and Me, Thank You Scientist comes on, and I got to show you this video. The singer of Thank You Scientist, please look him up if you're listening at home, looks and sounds exactly like Louis C.K. Oh, whoa. I'm like, is that... Is that I haven't you know because he's been like not doing stand up for a little bit after his specials. I'm like, this maybe is what yeah. he does outside of comedy. You have like the video? Oh, it's on the it's phone. It's on my phone. You get a new phone? No, it's, it's just, just not the, in the, the case. case. is off. Oh, white iPhone, huh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> just trying to keep the phones pure. <laughs> yeah, like it, crazy. I literally, ta I was to other strangers. I'm there alone. I'm like, doesn't he look like Louis C.K. like a lot? And he sounds like him a lot. Even in the way, like his manner of speech, it was wild. And I started, I'm like, that would be kind of good witness protection for canceled comedians. If they're like, you can't do comedy anymore, but we can put you as uh, the bassist of a popular jam band. Mm -hmm. Would you be interested in that? Yeah. That's all we can do. You can be behind the most least useful instrument in the, one of the worst genres. Yeah. Bill Cosby, a new band called Wind Down. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of it's their new hit song. Yeah. Uh, it's just a lullaby. It's a bunch of lullabies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chris D'Elia and like a fucking old country or like country pop. <laughs> Teenager, shake it for me. <laughs> <laughs> Little girl. Just 17. <laughs> I oh. thought she was 17. You're like, that's what you thought she was? Sure. Oh, Chris. Hey, babe, we're doing the pod. Charles is very unprofessional. He's peeing okay, and he's bye. answering. Yeah, I can't wait to see that video. Was he baldy? Like, they look like a 50-year-old Louis? Or I got it. Like I'll younger? show you right now. I'll show you. Rewind it real quick because you can hear his voice. Bald, yeah. His voice, too. <laughs> Hello, Sam. Like, 
Yeah, it's just all there. Yeah. It's all yeah. there. He definitely is a Louis type. Bald, like same body type, glasses, weird hook nose. Let me see if I can get his voice. They, they, I mean, they're great. Wow. Like very coheed vibes. Yeah, you very know? coheed. Um, I didn't expect him to be that old. He looks like he's fifty. All right, so thank you, scientists. This is great. You know, I've spent um, all of my life savings at the bar. And then Between the Buried and Me comes on. And I see this guy. I see smoke. Am I boring you? That's very boring. I see smoke coming out of the crowd. And I'm like, I think that's a joint. I got, I beeline for, oh, the, wow. for the smoke. I see the signals. I go, Gondor needs me. The Pope is dead. The Pope <laughs> has died. They picked a new one, and it's your boy. And they're celebrating with guns. Yep. I put on, I put a shoe on my head and said, close enough. I'm the Pope. And have you had this experience where you start pushing your way through, like swimming through the bodies, and you look behind you, and there's like five people trailing you? Whoa, because they're pissed at you? No, uh, no they're not chasing you. Oh, you're me. the leader. I'm the leader. You you're realize spooning that you're out a, of a... Yeah, you're a snake, and you're yeah. acquiring little yeah. scales yeah, as you yeah. go along. You're getting a longer tail. You're a shark with a little fish on its belly. Uh, right, I got some remora yeah. on my tail. Yeah. I'm like, come on! I think I did that. It was fun. You said come on? I think I said come on. I was come like, whoa, on. you guys are all following me? And they're like, yeah, keep going! You created a river of Kyle. I did. <laughs> Yeah, for the bit, my name had to be Kyle, but sure. You know, the people behind you. Oh, okay. You're creating a river of Kyles. Oh, <laughs> it was all Kyles. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get to the joint, and I'm like, buddy, I will Venmo you if I can hit that. And this man. You're not, like, spooked a little bit? Like, what's in this joint? No. Wow. I'm reckless. Yeah. This angel sent from the heavens, not a man. His name is Mark. He's one of the Gospels. He's like, buddy, take a hit. No Venmo. And I'll t inhale that. Exhale it. Take another one, buddy. It's all love here. I'm like, who are you, magical man? He just gave me like two deep hits of a joint. And well, who wouldn't do that? Ah, he was just being, I mean, you, ask, for nice an, you ask a normal person for a cigarette, they'll give it to you for free. You're right. You're right. I was just like, my need mixed with his generosity, just, I mean, I, I, I came, my heart came. Yeah. Three you made a whale noise. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I keep going down. Yeah, you Man, do. put me in a library and <laughs> cover me with a blazer. <laughs> Downs under the sea. <laughs> so under the so sea. We're, we're hitting the joint. Me, Mark, Peter, Luke, John. All the, all the disciples. Yep, yep. Judas was there. He's trying to steal it from us. Um, no, but there was another guy named Peter there. And it is funny when you're smoking and it's in such close proximity because you're in, you know, a packed floor. Other people like it's a joint. So it's emitting a lot of smoke and other people are like, <coughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, because they're all straight edge people. I don't know. Yeah. They're like, oh, my my car, my uh, my chip. <laughs> I'm going to lose my chip. You see the X's I tattooed on these hands. They mean something. They love the X tattoos. <laughs> oh, my straight God. Straight edge. Was it three X's, right? I don't know. Vertically. <laughs> that seems like oh, an old timey like signal for alcohol. You know, on the yeah. barrels, there's three X's. That's the that's hooch, baby. That's moonshine. I thought it was three X's like this. What about sunshine? Like uh, the movie Triple X. I think that could be like an illicitly brewed electrolyte. Sunshine? <laughs> yeah, like moonshine. <laughs> and then you also have sunshine for the athletes. <laughs> yeah, when Dale has to go dig a really big hole, we give him some sunshine. Give him some sunshine. <laughs> brewed it myself yep. in my papa's toilet. <laughs> Which is an outhouse. Yeah, of course we use photosynthesis. That's why we call it sunshine. <laughs> a lot of algae in it. Yeah, a lot of bloom. A lot of bloom. It's one of Between the Buried and Me. So what it was weird about Between the Buried and Me, they played their entire album, which is called Parallax 2, because <laughs> they had Parallax The Reckoning. The Reckoning, <laughs> yeah. Resident <laughs> Evil. It was from 2012. Wow. So I'm like, what's going on? They've released several albums since then. I wonder why they played that. Yeah, They I just played they... the whole thing in its entirety. And I'm like, not COVID. It was out in 2012. I don't know. So anyway, the mosh is heating up. It feels like I'm in Apocalypse now, Heart of Darkness. I'm in the jungle. Explosions are going off in the background. I'm high as shit. Uh, I can't, you know, humidity. I can feel the air. It's like a wet blanket. And then the mosh is just going. You, I could also see you getting the energy from the mosh if you are straight edge. Like, you come out of there and you don't need... You're hype. You're hype. That's your cold shower. Yeah, that's your cold yeah. shower. Exactly. You're like, Every day I, I wake up died. with a... Rough mosh. Yeah, with 20 dudes yeah. who with the same taste in music. Came came with the apartment, yeah. Pushing me around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at one point, I cra there's a few women in the mosh, and I crack this lady by accident. Oh, my God. With with my forearm to her, like the bridge of her nose. 
And uh, she pats me on the you know shoulder. She's like, I'm like, are you okay? Jesus Christ. And she's like, I'm fine. It's cool. Um, so I'm like, whew, that's the hottest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> wow. Yeah, a woman you can be. <laughs> not not she exactly. She forgives you. Yeah, I think she got it's me. It's cool. You're just in a mood. I think she got <laughs> Barry. I mean, look, Between the Buried and Me was on. What? I get it. You can beat me as long as good tunes are playing. Uh, yeah. I am single. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was funny, though, because when the mosh started with Rivers, like, once the first mosh begins, a mosh is possible at any point in time. So at one point okay. when Thank You Scientist is playing, it's there's a black just, hole. It's just like a piano piece. People are moshing to the... I'm like, I look around, I'm like, <laughs> we're playing keys here? Does anybody ever try to do within a mosh, ever try to... Uh, slowly pull off that dance that they do at weddings where you get on people's shoulders you just hold behind and you do that little train so, uh no the ta- the tango line uh, yeah just like a wedding. conga yeah conga yeah. line no conga but there was a conveyor belt of twinks being airlifted and sent to the front of the crowd Whoa. there was crowd surfing galore Whoa. it was like hawaii out there this the way you see that video of sam smith trying to do a crowd dive and nobody caught him <laughs> <laughs> what's what happens you say. that's probably why adele skinnied up because she's like i want to jump in the crowd but no, it wasn't the the bands. It was like people getting lifted from the crowd. Whoa. And you could see the security guard because it's his job to make sure like no one dies. So he's like gesturing like, give them to me. And then Whoa. he like puts them down, you know. Okay. He okay, just okay. like gets them out f- off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's nice. like, yeah, he's the end of the slide. Yeah. He's the, uh, he's the foam pit yeah, that you nice. slide into. But this guy, you could see because people just kept going up. And you saw a look on his face that was like, <laughs> like a mover must be able to lift 45 pounds they're like yeah the elevator's broken he's like come on i gotta do with all the flights of stairs i gotta go up six flights with these kids luckily it's a lot of twinks you know a lot of like yeah well, they don't have, a, they have hollow bones they do like you and me would have been like the heavier people not oh wow what what so are you 170 yeah probably 160 i feel like there weren't many people above 170 who are who are going what up. are these like I, th- I was picturing kind of fat guys in a death metal with beards there were those but they kind of stood like mount like pillars in the mosh pit okay. i mean i hit some dudes like if i like if i'm a if i'm a pool ball they were like fucking coconuts wow. they're like bowling balls wow. of men like i i hit one guy and i'm like that's a big guy that's a guy that's a big man i wish i was you that's a big big man and man. the women were fucking the white ball and bocce ball they're like ping pong things wow you know just tiny little ladies tiny little yeah she was small these were tiny ladies just getting like after get, it getting mocked. good for them mask on i'm like weird risks <laughs> you're taking <laughs> so that mike becky young joke uh, I read this news story about this guy. His ex girlfriend chopped off his penis. They found it in the street with a condom on. Mm. I said that guy's worried about the wrong things. Right, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's basically what this lady was. Are you wearing a band shirt right now? I'm wearing a band shirt. It says leprous, leprous. on it. Yeah. 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 You got leprous. Yeah, they're good. They're great. One of my faves. Um, what else do I got? Moshing. I made a guy tie his shoe. <laughs> it sounds like nothing, but he uh <laughs> when you go down, like people everyone's like Velma. If as soon as someone the guy did lose his glasses, he lost his glasses, he's looking on the ground, and I'm like, Hey, give him some room, look for his glasses. <laughs> and people have all of their phones out. Like it's like a hive mind. It's very like last of us. We all got the mushroom brain. We're all just doing the same thing. Um and I think trying to help each other out. So when this guy went down to tie his shoe, I think people thought that he was like in trouble or something. So immediately flashlights on him. Now you got a, f- a crowd of 20 people watching you tie. And he was struggling. He w- could not get the bunny around the tree and into the hole. Oh, because he lost his glasses. But he's like, I still need to tie my Different shoe. Different guy. Oh, okay. Different guy. Just went down. Uh. I'm like, your shoe's untied. He's like, so is yours. I'm like, we should fix it. So we go down to tie the shoe. I'm up lickety split. He's down there for like 20, 30 oh, seconds boy, just like being like, oh, fuck. It's like when you found out R. Kelly couldn't read. It was like <laughs> trying to read things. And you're like, oh, no, I just exposed you. I exposed him. He'd never tied a shoe in his life. His mom did before he went to the show. And uh, I, yeah, I let everyone know. I'm like, you wearing a diaper? <laughs> and then I pulled it over his head, <laughs> kicked him into just the pit, never saw him again. <laughs> Ow. Ew, dude. So, uh. Yeah, great concert. I uh, was pretty fucked up by the end, you know, tab of a million dollars. Yeah. I think I paid legitimately $50 for three drinks. Did you tip? Yeah. I've gotten better with tipping what I think is appropriate. You over tip. I used to over tip. You can't over that. I mean, spender. We got a big spender here. I just, I, I did my tour in the in the service. Yeah, sure. So I know what I sh- tipped two bucks a drink. 
pretty good. And all he did was crack it open or pour yeah, it from the that's, draft. That's well, that, now that's what I do. I'm like, you really don't even. I'll give you a tip, but I'm not gonna give you a lot. Freestyle, they give us the drink tickets. I give five for the night. Yeah, yeah. I start. I used to only do one, but I'm like five for the night. They're free. This is good. I'm five for the night. That's a song by <laughs> Cruella. Is that a real song? I live for the night. I live for the. It's a little EDM band I listen to at the gym. <laughs> oh, nice. Two ladies. Two ladies. If we go down, we all go down so what, together. So they have uh, two, 202 Dalmatians between yeah. them. Um, nice. Sick Disney riff. Um, yeah, so that was the. Uh, that's pretty good. That was the concert hollow blue. Any any questions? Any questions? <laughs> Beautiful lander set. Any questions? Any questions? Cracked a lady with a forearm. Oh yeah, she was like, "I'm okay." I'm like, "I'm gonna do that in writing." <laughs> 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 okay, uh, you know, I, I'm a public figure. It yeah. says that on in Instagram. I need that in writing. Um, earplugs. Oh, earplug. This was this was tough. So I bought ear. I bought like nice earplugs. I went on. Amazon, I looked up like good concert earplugs, bought a pair of like $25 ones. Because when I'm in the concert, like when you put earplugs in, if you shove them in, like if you're pressing them in, then you can hear the most clearly because it's like a full seal. So it's almost like you're compressing the sound of the concert. It's like the whole thing is blown out. Decibels are in the positives. It's no good. But if you press it in, then it's good. So I'm like, okay, hopefully these earplugs will work. I forgot them at home. Ah. So I had to go into CVS, stole some. I bought some, stole some others. So I bought I bought the rubber ones and like the foam ones. And then I was Mr. You know Johnny Apple plugs. You giving them Johnny out? Johnny earplugs. Yeah, I gave out some um, some earplugs, trying to make some friends. How when you go to a you concert steal? alone, I I stole one pack of like the rubber ones, and then I bought the foam ones. So you but got one the, friend to with make. The, no, with no with the foam ones, you get a bag of like thirty. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so I just yeah, I was I had a little. Anybody need some plugs? I'm the plug for plugs. I'm the plug Anybody? plug. Yeah, guys, guys. <laughs> just follow me on Instagram, okay? Yeah. Leave me a review. It's really important. Like my jokes. Also, uh, I have a podcast to look up right now. Yeah. Was I was trying to make friends. You know, I'm talking. F- nobody really wants to, except for the joint guy. But then we were like ships in the night. You know, we found we saw each other in the mosh pit. I'm like, Peter, Mark, what's up? And then we, you know, he died. <laughs> he got bulldozed by a big burly Mellow Death fan. But uh, it was a great time. I love uh, I love concerts. Love going to shows. Yeah, concerts love are very fun. I've been to a concert in a while. Go to a metal show, man. Mm. You probably won't like it. No. <laughs> um, what else has been going on? I think that's basically it. I mean, we can we can call it. I do got to go to this show. Yeah, we call it. It's eight. Is your show at nine? Show's at eight. Oh, geez. Go to the show. I got to go to the show. All right. <laughs> yeah, it's eight o'clock. Therapist left me. Switch places. All right. We, we uh, talked. Look, Ricky. Well, our producer's here and it's time to wrap it up. She's got to lay another deuce. And uh, that means it's time to wrap up the episode. Thank you guys for listening. Um, I think I'm going to not publish this until the Elliot Roosevelt one is out. So hope you enjoyed that one. Hope you enjoyed this one. Ricky, you have any last words? All right. Just looked away. Um, follow me on Instagram at Zach Russell Comedy. Uh, follow the podcast at overshadowed underscore podcast. Check out the Patreon, please. I'm going to be on Food Network. Yeah. Coming uh, out. August Congratulations. 6th. That's pretty fun. That's we'll awesome. talk about that more. And um, Charles, what do you got? You can follow me on Instagram at Charles underscore Ingle. It's E-N-G-L-E. Same thing with YouTube, TikTok, all of the above. Make sure you come to our live shows if you're in New York. We run them every single week. Follow the podcast. Share the podcast. Leave a review. We work Please jobs. leave a review. We leave a good review. Leave, yes. If you have a... here's Leave a negatively worded positive rating. Yeah. Also, How about you, that? If you leave a bad review, everybody knows that something's wrong in your life. So <laughs> make people think you it's got more of a reflection on you. Yeah, than the pod, if leave we're a being positive honest. review. People think you're rich. Also, I am uh, I'm headlining Boston uh, Summer Shack, July 29th. I'm doing some shows in Cleveland, July 14th and 15th. Uh, um, I think that's all I have for now. Uh, I'll be in Pennsylvania, Philly, and uh, Pennsylvania and Philly. Pennsylvania. <laughs> wow. Pens- no, wait. Yeah, Philly. DC and I think somewhere else in Pennsylvania July 21st to the 23rd. Nice. My birthday. July 21st. Oh nice. Give me something. All right, bye guys. <laughs>